off with this. You must have the blood of the sun and the awareness of the cosmos in order to move forward in what we call the Great Awakening, the age of Aquarius, the age of light, where the truth is more disturbing than the lie. So let's just take a look at this here on this August 17, 2024 Gregorian calendar. I'm recording this video at 4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my people. This is the last three hours. I just want you to take a serious look at what I, when I am showing you. It's, my apologies. I want you to take a good look at what NASA Instruments is showing you regarding our planet, the magnetic field, the shield, the so-called dome, and the interactions with the sun. I just want you to take a look at this for yourself, my people. Now, ask yourself deeply why none of these radiologists, why none of these uh, uh, solar physicists uh, on YouTube or social media accounts, why they are not using this instrument right here. Ask yourself that question. Why do they shadow ban these videos right here, my people? Ask yourself that question, huh? What, what am I speaking about that is disturbing them, huh? Or what is happening between your our DNA, the organic species of the planet, the complex cell DNA, the, un, the uh, inorganic species on this planet, the, the Earth, Mother Earth in which we live, the dome that supposedly is a shield or, or, or barrier that protects us from harmful solar radiation, what is going on? What am I speaking about? What is happening that they would rather shadow ban my videos and other people, other races of people, complex cell, will not use the same instrument that I'm using as well. I use all the other instruments they're using, but this is the most important one. Why? Because this here is shows you definitively the solar radiation that is coming into the planet from the daytime side as well as the nighttime side. This right here poses questions and no one seems to answer or want to speak about these, uh, this one topic right here that is severely, that is severely the game changer on the planet. And that is the energy that is coming from the nighttime side of the planet as well as the square and which earth is in as you can see so let me show you this here let's zoom in let's just take a let's just take a good look at that let's take a good look at that my people take a look at this my people just take a look at it look at the square look at the interactions of the dome look at it it's shrinking you don't see that look at the shrinking just look at the shrinkage of the dome look at the pressure that's being placed upon our upper atmosphere huh the dome is being pushed all the way down to where you would consider the the thermosphere right where the satellites are orbiting what you call earth my brothers and sisters do you not see this all right, give me one second here right, give me one second here let me look in here pause my apologies i had to step off my people so here we go right here once again now, as I stated to you before, look at the square, look at the magnetic field, look at the dome, look at the dome, look at where it's being pressed down to, look at this dome, and then look at this, look at where it's, this, these dots right here is the orbital track for these two satellites, look at how the dome is being pressed down to the thermosphere, this is where the satellites are moving at, in your thermosphere, right here. And look at how the dome, the dome that supposedly protects you from harmful solar radiation is pressed all the way down to your thermosphere, my people. Not to mention you see the points with the square. You see your points with your square. Look at your square that the earth is in. And for those that are people that are new to my channel, just so that you know, let me just slide back just a little bit here. Just so you know, the earth is in the middle. The white side over here is the daytime side. The sun would be over here somewhere. And this is the dome right here that goes from the North Pole to the South Pole that protects us from the energy that is coming from the sun. Unwanted energy. Let's just say that. Unwanted energy by the unnatural. Let's just say that. Um, and then you have something that's sitting back here that is giving out equal amount of energy as the sun. And how do we know this? Because these two satellites right here, Goal 16 and Goal 18 satellites, 
are their only job is to detect solar radiation on this planet that's coming and this they are detecting high levels of charged particles that is coming to this planet but this right here is so alarming and when people walk talking about the new variant of disease monkeypox let me explain something to you it's going to get more serious than that my people i want you to understand something when you watch the movie world war z right with brad pitt this is what they were talking about when they speak about zombies we're already on the planet with zombies tell me what zombies do what is the what is the main characteristic of a zombie just think about this for one second before people see they want to give you a, an appearance with zombie to make a person look like they foaming from the mouth their eyes is uh rolling in the back of their heads um their face have uh they have a court their face is kind of court uh a quartor, uh uh i can't even think of the name but it's a structural face that the face structure change but let me just say let me say this to you what is the let me ask you the question what is the main what makes a zombie a zombie just think about that just think about you see the first thing you're going to think of is a virus or a disease that's not the case just think about that for one second what makes a zombie a zombie what makes a zombie dangerous because you know zombies don't attack other zombies they only attack living things that are not like them so what makes a zombie a zombie what makes you totally fearful of a zombie or what makes you think of a zombie what, what what does the zombie has uh 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 possess that someone that is not a zombie possess this is what you must understand it is more so what a zombie doesn't possess versus what you and the first thing people would say is a soul yes that's a soul but a consciousness a zombie has no consciousness so when you look at Benjamin Netanyahu in the military dropping missiles and bombs on top of hospitals and schools that's killing thousands of women and children, they have killed over 40,000 women and children and men um, uh, in, in, in Gaza regarding this war between Hamas and Israel. They have killed over 40,000 and that number is low, my people. I, I believe it's already in 100,000. So I just want you to know that what makes a zombie a zombie and so dangerous that it has no consciousness about what it will do. And if those that not conform to be a zombie, if you're not conforming to be me, I am going to convert you into me regardless if you how you, regardless if you want to or not. Either I'm going to blow you the French toast up, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to bite you. I'm going to do something that's going to turn you into me because I want you to have no consciousness as well. This is why, This is why, you know, uh, if you look in a so-called black people community, this is why the music, this is why the television shows, this is why the, the predictive programming through our environment, this is why this is so important so they can have you like a zombie to have you consciously. So you don't consciousness. So you don't possess your conscience. So you don't have that. Listen to that inner voice. That's what it is. Once you become a zombie, your inner voice has been shut off from you. So that's what it means. No consciousness of zombie. They give you these zombies on television and make you look like you know, make them look, you know, funny looking and they're and they're foaming at the mouth and and they look like they're disease infested. But the number one disease is the disease of the mind. That once you infect the mind, once you make the individual think that it's something that it's not, once you make the individual believe and trust in something that's not true, but but only benefits them as an individual or benefits their immediate surroundings, then you can automatically turn that person into a zombie. You can categorize you can categorize that person as a zombie because you know why? Because that person only care about itself and everyone that's around it. Because I every I'm good and everybody around me is good because they on the same program as me but meanwhile outside of my circle in this same system that is benefiting me i see the system destroying a whole group of people and i'm refusing to uh, i'm refusing to change my ways because you know why it's benefiting me and that's what a zombie is a zombie is a selfish a narcissistic sociopath psychopathic person that is what a zombie is and a zombie will do anything to make sure that it is okay and to the point that it will convert you into it or you will have to die.
Think about that, my people. Just think about that. And this is why this is going on right here. This right here is taking place. So now that dome is so pressed down to your thermosphere that you can't even believe the amount of radiation that's coming into the planet. So let me just go up here real quick to solar wind before I get off of here. Uh, solar wind looked like it reached all the way up to over 900 kilometers. Yep, there you go, 973. Looked like that was the highest that I saw. Yeah, it reached all the way up to 973 kilometers. This is the last three hours, my people. The last three hours, and this is between the sun, the earth shield, and earth, you know, the interactions. And everything that's coming from the sun affects all living organisms because earth is a living organism as well. Understand and overstand. If you look at earth, the, the grass and the, and the trees is in an abundance across the planet. And that is the, that is the central and peripheral nervous system to the planet. Just so that you know, the grass, the, the trees and all of that, that is your hair follicles. That is your hair as well as your, your internal hair follicles that connect and communicate with one another via your central, your peripheral nervous system and your central nervous system. I value you. I appreciate you all. And I want to say this to the people that are now trying to throw pop shots at me regarding my sun blood weather updates or regarding the video and, and my, and my videos that I post and the message that's in my videos. I know that you're mad. I can tell you're mad. You're upset and you're hurtful. You're, you're hurt. And the only reason why is because your eye hasn't been activated. You didn't activate your own eye. And you're upset that I activated my eye. And I was able to see this seven years ago. And now guess what? I'm not the only one that's seen this. But it just so happened that I seen this coming. You know why? Because I've been through this before. Whether I was on this side of the astral plane or I was on the other side of the astral plane. Just understand something. I seen this before, and we've been through this many times before. Regardless of, regardless of what the other opposition, meaning the complex cell organism, want to tell you, we've been through this many times before. So now that you want to say that my message is regurgitating, collides the same message over and over. Well, I'm gonna let you know this right now. No one is forcing you to push play on my my or any of my videos, and I'm gonna keep the sun and genetics in your face like acne, and I want you to remember that. I'm going to keep the sun and genetics in your face like acne. So you don't have to push play because the mental illness come in with this. The mental illness come in that I actually know what he's going to say or assume that I know what he's going to say. And I'm going to push play and I'm going to get mad that he said it. And I'm going to, and I'm going to leave a long paragraph like I'm going to change his heart or change his mind. When the sun, when the sun is doing, has been reminding you. And everyone on this planet, either your or your organic or inorganic, for thousands of Gregorian calendar years, the sun has been rising and setting and reminding you consistently, whether you're inorganic or organic, that you are either uh, natural or unnatural to this planet, and you haven't said a word or batted your eye towards the goddamn sun. And now, all of a sudden, I'm I'm I am the sun in the universe, walking in the flesh, and I'm able to pick up. I picked up my phone when it started ringing. When the sun called me, I picked the fucking phone up and I answered it. And now that I'm able to speak about the future and the changes that's taking place with this planet that has been documented in these pyramids, has been documented in your genetics, you're upset with me because my message is stronger than yours. Understand something and understand this. This is coming from the cosmos. I keep telling you I am the son of the universe and you keep failing to realize this. Everything that I spoke in my life, even before I became awake, came to fruition. You just don't know. I told you there is one more thing that I want to speak about when it comes to my life just to let you know. Everything I spoke about in my life that I wanted, I didn't get it the way I wanted it or I wanted to experience it. I French toast experience. It was nothing in my life that I asked for that I did not fucking get. I just may have not gotten it in a way that I wanted it. That's the, that, And that is the universal truth. See? And I keep saying, man, Y'all can sit there and look for, for try to look for fault polychromatic colors in me. The problem is, is that I'm doing this thing better than you. So I don't shout out one thing and one thing for certain and ten things for sure. I shout out the true angelic benevolent beings, the ones, the, the ones that really, the ones that really wanted to see their people free. I shot them out at all times. I'm not mad about the other stars that shine. I just want to shine amongst the stars. And remember that abundance and gratitude to you all.